Okay, we're back here live at Stanford University. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE, and uh, this is our day wrap-up here. We're here all day live broadcasting here inside the Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events and try to sit up in the noise. My co-host Jeff Kelly, and next time to wrap up our day at, at the XL Stanford Symposium, 17th annual, exclusive coverage. Um, hashtag is XL Enterprise, which is the theme of the event. Jeff Kelly, you know, one of the things I would notice here is that the pattern is obviously enterprise, XL partners known for their consumer investments. Obviously Facebook was the big home run, um, but Ping Lee, active partner in, uh, in the firm, announced today at the show an innovation scholarship for PhD programs, one of the big part of the uh, keynotes. Great set of speakers, Jeff Weiner from LinkedIn talking about the economic graph. We had lynda.com here, Linda Weiner from uh, lynda.com talking about the skills, skills graph. But a lot of their investments, a lot of their portfolio, this is an XL Partners really event. So not a lot of VCs were here. I saw Gray Lock EIR here, but for the most part, it's XL Partners. And my observation is a lot of the companies are profitable. They're investing in companies that have been profitable, and not just Silicon Valley, Montreal, all over the world. So Utah, yeah. Big, big take, what, what's your take? Well, it's interesting. Um, you know, Excel is, is building out their, their, specifically around big data and data-focused uh, companies, startups. Um, to take advantage of some of the uh, innovation that their earlier uh, companies they've earlier invested in have done in the infrastructure layer of big data. So, you know, you've got, for instance, Cloudera building out the, the big data platform on Hadoop, and now you're starting to see as Cloudera is maturing and that platform is starting to uh, become quote unquote enterprise ready, now you're starting to see startups that are building applications on top of that uh, stack. So, companies like Origami Logic that we spoke to today and others. Really, it's now, there's now an opportunity where uh, it's the, the barrier to entry for a big data application startup is a lot lower because of the work co companies like Cloudera have done. So uh, a very strategic approach by Excel, really uh, impressed with that. We had um, the VP of engineering uh, with um, from Dropbox here, uh, um, and Samir Gandhi from Excel Partners talking about the Dropbox investment. We had Amanda Richardson, head of product from Prezi. Tom Byers from Stanford University talking about the, the, the change over the transformation in online uh, education, online data with Stanford's success with their entrepreneurship programs and all the data. We had the president of Microsoft Server and Tools Business, Satya Nadella. Mike Olson from Cloud Air was on. Mike was very candid about their progress and success. Um, and you know, that squashes all kinds of data around Cloud Air's future, which is still bright and sunny. Obviously they got some competition, um, and obviously they're, they're prepared. Uh, we've had uh, Origami Logic, Ofer, who sold this company to Juniper now for another run here with Excel. Uh, Qualdrix, Ryan Smith, uh, Madhu from Cetus, now at VMware, now Pivotal. Uh, we didn't have Bradley Horowitz, we couldn't get Jeff on there, run out the door. We had the founder of Lightspeed, and just Martha Russell from uh, uh, MediaX, and of course Bud Colligan from Excel Partners. But just overall, a great day. Obviously the enterprise is hot. Again, it's great for us to see Silicon Valley pick up on words like shadow, uh, shadow IT, consumerization of IT. It's all here to stay, and obviously, really, really big investment area. Enterprise is hot, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, you know, you mentioned the consumerization of IT, and I think one of the things we're seeing in the in the application space, really, this idea of bringing simple, elegant applications that build on some of the really complex uh, infrastructure underneath, but really pr pr uh, provide a, a simple and again elegant kind of interface for the business user. Um, you know, we talked to Rob Solomon about uh, a number of things in terms of some of the things he looks for in a company. Uh, Rob recently uh, joined Excel, uh, former Groupon president. Talked about. Uh, how come how startups use data? Not necessarily data-focused companies, but but how startups use data to inform their development uh, application development process and build their applications, test them in the real world, that kind of thing. That was really interesting to me. Uh, you know, data is a, a, a very much a differentiator, not just for those companies that are making data-focused applications, but are making any kind of applications in the way they actually build on uh, the data coming from their users and others. So some really interesting stuff today. Well, I want to do a shout out to Ping Lee at Excel Partners, great partners for having us here in the Cube and inviting us to their very intimate thought leadership conference here. I see with Stanford, California, you know, technically Palo Alto, right down the street from where we live. And I see Jeff, thanks for coming out here. Great day. And I think Excel really put an exclamation point on the fact that they know what they're doing in the enterprise. They're not just doing consumer deals and that they got their finger on the pulse and they're seeing the, the trends around purchasing, the consumerization, the user experience from payments to purchasing to user experience across the board. Again, great conference and having Stanford and Excel, this partnership has paid off for Excel as a firm. They continue to be a tier one event. 
a tier one venture capital firm, a tier one event certainly here, and uh, we're proud to be here. This is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's exclusive coverage. I'm here with Jeff Kelly, number one big data analyst on the planet with Wikibon. Again, go to wikibon.org slash big data to see all Jeff's work. Go to siliconangle.com to get all the reference points for tech innovation in the enterprise. Again, our, our wheelhouse is cloud mobile and social been doing computer science, meet social science for a long time. So really a great event for us to get in here, read the tea leaves, and get validation that we're right on the right track. Jeff, thanks so much for coming. Shout out to Alex and Mark and the team. And also thanks to the team in San Francisco who's up uh, broadcasting live at the Amazon Web Services Summit with all the developers. Um, that's a wrap from SiliconANGLE's exclusive coverage of Excel Stanford Symposium. Thanks for watching and see you next time at theCUBE. Next week we'll be at EMC World and uh, keep watching.